What is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Jordan 4 Military Blue. I've actually had them for the better part of two months now, wearing them time and time again with a myriad of different outfits. I did decide to do a video on my experience around this sneaker here. In addition to that, a lot of people have DM'd me asking how the Jordan 4 Military Blue compared to that of the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green, which I did find to be kind of peculiar, but uh, that's another topic we will be delving into today. No script today, just going off the top of the dome to answer those aforementioned topics. But just before we jump into the topic at hand, I did want to let you know that LWH Clothing is set to restock this Wednesday, which will include some of your most highly requested garments, namely the Grace Necklace, restocking for the fifth time, the G03 Denim, the Perfect Vintage Tees, and much more. Go ahead and follow LWH Clothing on Instagram for the latest updates. Anyways, back to the topic at hand, what we have here is the Jordan 4 military blue, industrial blue, some say tomato, some say potato, same difference. I don't even know what to call these anymore. So I'm calling them the military blue because they look just like that and that just feels right. So for this Jordan 4 military blue, after having them over the course of the past two months and wearing them regularly, what I have found is that they are aging fairly nicely. The leather quality is pretty good. Um, They're showing very, very little signs of wear, if any at all. The stars are still fully intact. Now, bear in mind, I don't wear these on like hikes or God forbid to play basketball in them, but I have worn them to the gym. I've worn them on dates. I've worn them around the town. And of course I've worn them here to my office to work, show you how they look after two months of pretty regular wear. I'm not going to lie. I've worn these uh, quite a lot and they're not really showing too, too many creases or anything. I thought maybe a little scuff here and there, but that's a product of me being a little bit more on the clumsy side. In terms of comfort, they're pretty comfortable, but I have to say they're not quite as comfortable as these Jordan 4s here. The SBs are just on another tier, probably due to the fact that the Pine Green 4 was made with a bit more intention to be more comfortable and including just a little bit more cushioning. What I will say though, is that the Jordan 4 Military Blue could possibly be the easiest shoe to style it honestly looks good with just about anything I've thrown at them, whether that be uh, cargo pants, denim, whether it be blue or black. I've worn them with trousers. Uh, they look good with just about anything, which really does speak into the color scheme or the color blocking of the shoe. Really can't go wrong uh, with the tone of blue and the subtle hue of gray that is found sitting atop this somewhat whitish gray underlay. There have been a few YouTubers and even commenters stating that the Jordan 4 Military Blue have the exact same shape to that of the Pine Green SB. And to that, I would say they're partially correct. They're pretty much indistinguishable, but I'm um, having them side by side, like in front of you, you can see subtle differences. Things such as the overlay on the toe is a little bit more sleek and the overall shape of the Pine Green 4 is just a little bit uh, more sleek than the Jordan 4 Military Blue. Got them side by side here. So hopefully you guys can kind of tell the difference a little bit easier and kind of see what I see. Maybe I'm just seeing things, but um, I for one do think that the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green just has a nicer shape overall. In addition to that, I gotta say quality wise, these absolutely crush the Jordan 4 Military Blue, which absolutely does make sense as a shoe was made with more premium materials to made to last as the intention here was to withstand the rigors of grip tape, definitely not light on leather. So for the leather used on the Jordan 4 SB, it's just premium, premium leather. Um, and I do find the premium leather to be aging really, really gracefully. I've worn these a lot. The wrinkling on this leather is just adding a little bit more character, uh, making the shoe look better to me. Whereas I do anticipate the leather on the military blue to age a little less gracefully just because it is a bit stiffer, which isn't a big deal, but I thought was something worth mentioning. Now, with that to say, with a rumored a million pairs dropping of the Jordan 4 military blue, you can anticipate resale being on the low side, and that is a reflection of what's going on in the market today. Resale isn't too bad right now. And as a matter of fact, I was able to pick up my pair over two months ago from my guy, he on your feet at just under 500 bucks 
Bear in mind, this is well before the release date. So paying 500 bucks for this early pair was a no brainer for me. Side note, if you do like seeing early reviews, I bring early sneakers in regularly, the ones that you wanna see. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. But yeah, man, there's a very high chance of you getting this sneaker if this is a shoe that you're looking forward to acquire. Nike actually just put out a memo letting everybody know what exclusive access will look like. And pretty much they were saying that you're gonna have a very good chance at getting exclusive access to these sneakers if you take in two L's between now and January, which is a majority of us. I feel like Nike's definitely slick for that because they're making it feel like the shoe is limited, but with a little bit of digging, you kind of know that they're not really gonna be too limited. Uh, so I do think they're gonna move a lot of pairs because people are gonna get that exclusive access and kind of panic by because they think they're getting in on something very, very special when there's gonna be many pairs. Not saying that's a bad thing by any stretch, but I think Nike's definitely very, very slick for doing that rather than just dropping everything at once and kind of having them sit, taking away from the lure of the Jordan 4. But yeah, man, overall having these shoes for over two months, um, I've really enjoyed them. Very easy to style. The quality is pretty good. The comfort is definitely there, not necessarily on point, par with the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green, but still good nonetheless. I personally think that they are a fantastic sneaker. If you have no pairs of Jordan 4s, this would be the one to get. They're gonna do the job. They're easy to style, comfortable, good, good shoe overall. Now, if you are patient or are really dead set on getting something a little bit more like the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green, there is a rumored sneaker that is coming down the pipeline. Again, still a rumor of a Jordan 4 SB Sapphire Blue which does very much so emulate the Jordan 4 military blue in terms of color blocking, but in the silhouette of the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green, it does share that gum bottom. I find this to be a really, really good looking shoe. You're gonna get everything that we love about the Jordan 4 SB Pine Green, the comfort, the overall look, the silhouette, somewhat of the color blocking. It's definitely going to be a very, very sought after shoe if the Pine Green success is any indication of how well it'll be received. Now, should you wait? If you're patient enough and you want the SB version bad enough, I'd say definitely wait. But to me, I do think there is a level of diminishing return because once those officially drop, I do anticipate resale being pretty high on those. We've already covered inventory and resale on these Jordan 4 Military Blues. And I do find them to be a really great shoe, especially relative to the price point and accessibility. But ultimately, it is completely up to you. I've been very happy with this shoe. I've worn them quite a lot, again, very easy to style and overall very comfortable. The leather is pretty good. Not quite as good as the SB4s, but that's not a big deal. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video around my experience of having and wearing the Jordan 4 Military Blue for the past two months. I'd be interested in hearing in the comment section down below what you think about these shoes. And in addition to that, if you plan on making them a part of your rotation. If you did enjoy this style of content, or if you wanna see more early sneakers, you wanna see those Sapphire Blues compared to these shoes here, I'll buy them early. But only if you like today's video and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. That's gonna be the best way to let me know to keep this content coming. And with that to say, I'd like to thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I consider it a major privilege to get to serve you through making products and as well as content. And I'll never take it for granted. Guys, have a really great night. I'll catch you in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.